talking about keeping receipts, uh, there's some haters out there of Aaron judges that need to mm. need to acknowledge the receipts a little bit. They need to, they need to come Including forward. some Yankee fans too. Yeah. Yankee fans. They need, yeah. They need to come, they need to step forward and, uh, admit their, admit their faults and their wrongs here because, uh, I hate to say it, but Aaron judge is back. Yep, yep, yep. Do you care just, to expand? It was just a matter of time. Uh, and I, uh, again, like, I don't know what that point, I don't think it's fair to say there's a universal point where if you miss spring training time, you get this much time in the regular season. And at that point, you should be who you are. I know I said, like, last week, that, like, my rule is by the end of May, I think we kind of see who you are for the year as a hitter. Um, even as a starter, like you're you're at that point, like 10, 11 starts in, like I think we see who you are. So I don't think it's fair to say like, hey, he missed a chunk of spring training, but he had all of April to figure it out and he still didn't figure it out. I, I don't know. I don't think there's a rule. The truth is, the guy just didn't seem right. His timing was a little off. It wasn't anything different mechanically. Like, he he hasn't changed anything. Uh, I think I saw something. They did a breakdown on MLB Network where, like, over the last three years, what his slugging percentage was with pitches in the middle of the, of the, of the zone. And the slugging was, like, 1,200, 1,300. Like, all of them were above 1,000, which is insane for... Just slugging, not OPS. It was just slugging of pitches down the middle. This year it was like slugging was like in the 400s with pitches down the middle. And you see the drop off and you're like, that's still crazy because that's still not even that bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then all of a sudden you, you saw him flip a switch. It was, all it takes when you catch him starting go the other way, when you see home runs the other way, it, it he'll work his way up because early in the season was a lot of rollovers. It's this stat that we all know he's leading the league in double plays. And it's this rollover the shortstop, rollover the shortstop. And all of a sudden you'll watch ground balls to the second baseman, then line drives over the second baseman, then a home run to right field. And then you'll sprinkle in a absolute tank job that was 470 to left center. And you're like, I think you're back, sir. And it's been against some dudes. It's been against it's been against some guys. Um, why am I blanking on who he did it last week? It's a really good starter. Who was this? What was the series before the Rays? It was in Yankee Stadium. I don't remember. Tigers. It was Scooble. That's who it was. It was Scooble. Once he took Scooble Yard to right field, it was like all right. Then and then then it's just been poured on since. Um, and yeah, like all the guys, all the, all the Yankees fans that are like, you know, move Soto down to the three spot, switch them, get judged some more protection, like all this stuff, you know, it's just, it's just been pitch selection. It's just been getting on time and making pitchers pay for those pitches in the middle. 